Welcome back. These are the hormones that you'll have to study for your step one exam, and we'll have a separate video about each hormone. However, today we'll talk about antidiuretic hormone. ADH is secreted in the supraoptic nucleus of the hypothalamus, and it travels down the infundibulum to be stored in the posterior pituitary. One very important note to remember is that the secretion of ADH is regulated by the osmoreceptors in the hypothalamus. ADH works on two main receptors. V1 receptor is found in blood vessels and it causes vasoconstriction. V2 receptors are found in the principal cells of the collecting duct and it causes hypervolemia. So basically V1 causes vasoconstriction and hypertension and V2 increases blood volume. Analogues of ADH, such as desmopressin, are used to treat diabetic insipidus and nocturnal enuresis. And we have two main medications that can antagonize the ADH receptor. Dimiclocycline, which is actually a tetracycline antibiotic, can antagonize the ADH receptor as a side effect, and we use that to treat syndrome of inappropriate ADH. Vaptans are the drugs that end with the suffix Vaptan, and they can be used to correct hyponatremia. If we have high levels of ADH in the blood, it will cause syndrome of inappropriate ADH, and if we have low levels, it's going to cause diabetic insipidus. However, these are stories for another video. And here's a small quiz for you. So other than the use of desmopressin, how do we medically treat nocturnal neuresis? And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.